Hey guys, Jamie here. So I'm here on the end of sunny South End Pier, cooking up some beautiful grub for the diners in the cafe. I cannot wait to share this series with you, but here's a little sneak peek. We're gonna make the most incredible British burger, pimped up with pulled oxtail, a British burger like you've never seen before. I want it to have texture, so patty, melted cheese, pulled meats, but when we put it together with the burger sauce, I wanna be able, wait for it, to dip it in gravy, filthy, I love it. We're gonna start with oxtail. And before you run away and say, no, 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 you've gotta stay with me on this because it's next level stuff, slow cook. The meat just falls off the bone. And that on our burger is gonna be amazing. It's patty time. Don't overthink it, roll it up, squash it out, happy days. Get some English mustard, red Leicester cheese. We take the burger sauce, look at that. And that ooze is a thing of beauty. Incredible oxtail. Oh my lord, behave. But we ain't done yet. We made that gravy. And then you dip it. Mmm. There's no polite way to eat this. It's gonna be messy. I'm gonna show you how to make gunpowder lamb. An amazing southern Indian inspired dish. Gnarly, crispy outsides, but blushing in the middle. Best feasting meal ever. It's got kick. I'm just gonna toast some spices. The smell is off the chart. Time to get our hands going, get all the flavor in all the cracks and crannies. Look at that. Yes! Finish it by roasting. Best of both worlds. Let's make a salsa like no other salsa. Pineapple, get that on the grill. And if you imagine some of these fragrant elements with the rich lamb, it's gonna work so well. Look at that. What we're gonna do is the most amazing coconut rice. There is a really sweet spot that's called crispy bits. Let's get it going. I'm very, very excited. Gunpowder juices. Oh my lordy lord. Imagine carving this at the table. Absolutely beautiful pineapple salsa. Nice little bit of mint yogurt and Bob's your uncle. Mm -hmm. All right, there's so many exciting things going on. Fantastic. We're gonna make homemade ravioli with smashed potato, sweet onions, radicchio, fontina cheese, and parmesan. Little edible parcels. Time to do something incredible. It all starts with the filling. Red onion, radicchio, drizzle of balsamic vinegar. It's a different one, right? It's actually a potato filling. Cheese is gonna be what kind of makes this sort of holy trinity of flavors. Just roll them into little balls. And of course, the size of your ball will control the size of your ravioli. Take our filling. Once we've done that, just flop it over like this. That, my friends, is a thing of beauty. Let's plate it up. And you can see how delicate that pasta is. Look at that. Get some of those hazelnuts, bit of Parmesan. And that, my friends, is a ravioli worth savoring. So let's get in there. They are the silkiest, smoothest little mouthfuls of joy that you're ever going to eat. Poached chicken with broth that is absolutely to die for. Not only comforting, but super healthy as well. It's just the sort of thing I love in a bowl to kind of slurp on. Delicate dumpling that sucks up the flavor from the chicken broth. Get some chicken and veggies, big old chunk of breast. Get lovely carrot. Just top that up with some of that beautiful broth. This is literally one of my favorite things to eat. The broth is intense. It's food that makes you feel good. The chicken is so tender. And with the noodles and the dumplings, it's just amazing. Mmm. Delicious.